In a recent video on extending your knowledge, I had mentioned how you can use the open source GreenShot program to capture screenshots instead of buying software. But here's another amazing app that you can use for your screenshots. And this one is called ShareX. Again, ShareX is open source and free. GreenShot has not been updated since 2017 and it can only capture screenshots of scrolling pages from Internet Explorer and maybe Bing. I haven't tested it on Bing. In this video, I'll show you how you can capture a scrolling screenshot easily with ShareX from any window or web page that scrolls. Also, I'll show you how you can capture a particular scrolling area within the scrolling window or web page. First of all, go to ShareX's website and download and install the program on your computer. Open the program and set the destination folder for your captures. You do this by going to the menus on the left and clicking on After Capture Tasks. And from the sub-menu that opens, click on Save Image to File As. Since I have already selected it on my computer, it is displayed in bold. Now, open the window whose scrolling screenshot needs to be captured. For my example, I am on my YouTube channel and as you can see, the screen is scrollable and I need to capture a screenshot of this entire scrollable window. Make sure this scrollable page or window that you wish to capture is open. That is, displayed on your computer and not minimized to the taskbar. Also, make sure your scrolling web page or window is scrolled all the way up to the top. I then go to the ShareX program and from the menus on the left, click on Capture and from the sub-menu that opens, click on Scrolling Capture. Your mouse cursor instantly changes to a plus sign and when it is pointed to the scrolling window that needs to be captured, the selected area that is going to be captured is indicated by a marching ants border. You can move the plus cursor around to select various scrolling areas. In my case, I just need the window that scrolls and I make sure the selected area covers just that and I then click inside that area. You're prompted with this window by ShareX where you can fine tune your selection but I'm going to leave all defaults as they are and I click on start scrolling capture. ShareX automatically scrolls the web page and captures it and after it does that, it displays it on the dashboard. You can use the vertical and horizontal scroll bars to view the capture. Now you need to save this image. Click upload slash save depending on after capture settings. Since you had selected save image to file as earlier, ShareX opens a window where you can save the capture on your computer after giving it an appropriate name. I'm going to name my file my YouTube videos. Click save and the file is saved and ShareX provides you with a notification of the same at the bottom right corner of your computer screen. Now go to the folder where you save the image, open it with your default image viewer and here it is. You may view it on the ShareX dashboard as well. Now if you notice in the capture that I just did, there is one thing that I don't wish to keep. What if I wanted to get rid of this top image and I just wanted only the list of videos on the scrolling page. One way of doing this is to trim this image. Instead, I can fine tune my capture and do it in another way. And for this, I go back to my scrolling page and this time I'll choose a different option before the capture. Once I get this window, instead of clicking start scrolling capture, I minimize the window. I then minimize the main ShareX window as well. And getting back to the capture options window, I click on optional select custom region in window. I'm taken back to my scrolling window page and this time instead of clicking the area or window I need to capture, I click and drag the mouse over the area that I wish to scroll and capture. Once I let go, I'm taken back to the ShareX window where I click on start scrolling capture. ShareX captures the page as before. But notice this time we captured precisely that portion of the scrollable page that we wanted. Save the file as we did before. In my case, 
I'm just going to overwrite my previous file with this. Note that any time during the capture, you can press escape ESC on your keyboard to abort the capture process and you can start afresh. As a final tip, I would recommend using screenshots of scrollable pages or windows sparingly in your documentation. Always reduce the size of such screenshots by 60 to 50 percent or even less of the original if possible and never let the user engage the horizontal scroll bar as it is poor UX design. So there you go, easy screen capturing of scrolling windows and web pages and scrollable areas within the scrolling page or window using ShareX.